What's up? How y'all doing? This is Leo. So, you know, I hope everybody out there is being blessed and healthy. You know, I've been on Facebook and I've been talking to some friends and family and stuff out there. And, you know, people are stressed out and dealing with some things out there, you know. Um, I had one of my buddies call me the other day. And he was like, man, you know, you know, he, he had some death in his family and some other people are going through things. And he was like, man, all this stuff started with you. You had a heart attack and had open heart surgery. Now everybody's going down having this kind of problem or that kind of problem. And I'm just like, man, I don't know. You know, it's, it's just, uh, you know, everybody's stressed out. It's what's going on in the world today. Everybody's stressed out and things are happening, you know. So you guys got to take care of yourself. You guys got to get your checkups and get checked out. You know, if you've got anything going on in your family, you know, kind of history of any kind of medical problems or anything like that, definitely get that checked out. It's not something to sleep on, you know, from my experience. It's not something to sleep on, you know, because um, I know, you know, congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, you know, heart issues are running in my family. So definitely not something to sleep on. But basically I'm shooting this video to explain what happened that day. People are asking me, did I have shoulder pain? Did I have any complications? Did I feel weird? Did my chest hurt? So we're going to get into that because I'm having, I'm having a sneaky suspicion that people are asking me these questions because they're having certain issues or feelings and they want to know, well, what were you feeling? Because I'm feeling this and I want to know if I'm right. <laughs> you guys better go get checked out, all right? <laughs> so, which is not funny. This, that's, that's, this, this is not a laughing matter. This is not a laughing matter. As you guys can tell, I'm I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm I'm happy. I'm smiling. You know, I'm I'm getting by. I'm doing okay. So, so basically, this is what happened. I I woke up that morning, had my breakfast. We're at the hotel because we're getting ready to leave. And so most of the, my so we all my family went to Alabama to celebrate my wife's cousin's 50th birthday did that it was beautiful it was great the next morning i was only there for like i was only supposed to be there for like two or three days I wound up being there for three weeks because i couldn't fly because of the heart attack i couldn't i couldn't fly you know so anyway sunday we're getting ready to fly out so all the family, we woke up that morning, we're all getting ready to go catch our different airplanes or drive back to wherever we're from. You know, I'm in Alabama, so we're getting ready to jump on an airplane and fly back to San Jose. So we're all sitting around, you know, taking pictures and stuff and doing all that and, and you know, just spending a little bit of time together before we all head out. So I had breakfast and, you know, I was feeling okay. And just to throw this out there, I've been, which is weird. I've been having these seizures and low blood sugar after I eat, which my doctor says is very weird. He's like, after you eat? I'm like, yeah, it's like an hour to two hours after I eat, that's when my sugar drops. Super, super hard to the point where it's just, and that's why I start having it, because it just, just straight drops. It's crazy. So I had just got done eating, it was about an hour, hour and a half later, and all of a sudden, I'm feeling weird, like, oh my God, okay, so this is coming on. I, can, I know what it feels like when it's coming on. And the first thing that goes is, you know, starts messing with me is my eyesight. And so basically what happens with my eyesight is I start seeing, I call, I personally, I call them, I call it steals. You know, when you got, when you got, when you look at a um, movie, you know, and it's like, basically, you know, when you, when you normally look around, it's like fluid. But once my blood sugar starts dropping, it's just like, I'm here. And then it's like in slow motion, I move my head, but then all of a sudden, the eyes are slow when it comes here. It's slow. And that's why I say it's like, bam, bam, bam. It's like in movie stills, you know? I don't know. So that's, that's the way I see it. Anyway, so basically that started happening. I told my I told my wife, I said, hey, you know, babe, you know, I can feel that, you know, my sugar's dropping, you know? And by that time, by the time I said that, and like 35, 40 seconds later, I had already felt like a ton of bricks and I'm on the floor season. Hit the wall very hard. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. I mean, that was a knot. 
I hit that I hit that wall so hard. Remember, I'm six six one six two, two fifty. So I hit that wall super hard, super hard. So I don't know. They left a huge like knot on my head, so it was crazy. And so now it's gonna now it's left a scar. So either way, did all that, went through all that. I started coming out of my seizure. Everybody's you know I just started getting orange juice and different sugar and stuff to boost me back up and some protein because I've noticed that if I have some protein, get the sugar in and have some protein after the protein kind of seems seems like to me the protein keeps the sugar kind of level, you know. So I get you know both and then. You know, the ambulance comes and gets me in the ambulance and I take him to the hospital. And I'm and I'm sitting there just like, hmm. You no, know, it's just like pain in my chest. Like, oh, man, this is starting to hurt. It got to the point I hurt it so bad. It hurts. It hurted. Like, that's a word. It hurt, it hurt so bad that I was crying. I'm in, I'm in the ambulance crying. They're willing me out and I'm crying like, oh, my God, my chest is killing me like, Somebody do something. There's something wrong. My chest is killing me. And I'm, I'm not grown, grown man. I'm crying. You would cry too, okay? Whatever. It was hurting. All right? Whatever. I don't want to hear it. So, <laughs> about me crying later. But yeah, I was crying. It, it hurt really bad. And so, I get in. They do an EKG, you know, and they're like, okay, well, yeah, there's something, you know, there's something wrong. So, but we need to do an annual gram. Is that what you call it? I believe that's what you call it, where they go up through your groin, you know, and wiggle around in there and see what's going on in your arteries or whatever, or something like that. So, we ain't got that done. And they're like, yeah, you know, you've had a massive heart attack and you're a 90% clogged. Hmm? Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be on an airplane going home right now. What are you talking about? I just out of the blue. What? So, you know, okay, so we're going to have to do open heart surgery, and we're going to have to do a bypass. We can't do stents because it's in your main artery. You've got this main plant. This is what the doctor kind of explained to me. I could be wrong. I am not an expert. I'm just telling you basically what he explained to me. That I have this main artery that leads to two other arteries that split off, right? The main one was apparently blocked or something like that, 90% blocked. The reason why you couldn't put a stent in here because you'd have the problem of it sliding down. You could you have that chance, and now you're even more screwed. So that's not what happened. So had the bypass. You know, I was in the hospital for a week. You know, and was stuck in Alabama for three weeks. You know, and uh, I mean, made it home. So this is where I'm at now. You know, so. I mean, that's basically what happened. So, here I am now, you know, and um, I'm doing okay, though. You know, it's, 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 there's a lot of changes, a lot of things going on, you know. I've already gone to my main doctor, and we've talked, we discussed a lot of stuff, and and so I'm getting ready to go see my endocrin endocrinologist for the sugar levels and stuff going on in my body. Trying to figure out what's going on there because apparently, you know, he's like, you can't be keep, you can't be having these. You just had a heart attack, so you're not strong enough to keep having these. You know, this is bad. So, <laughs> so he's like, we got to figure what's going on there. As far as the heart goes, you know, we're gonna get to your cardiologist and check all that stuff out because it's stuff that runs in your family anyway. So we're gonna have to keep monitoring you anyway. But overall, like I said, guys, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I've been, I was blessed. You know. Thank God for the seizure. You know, in a way, I say thank God for the seizure because if I wouldn't have had the seizure, I probably wouldn't have known about my heart. And then the doctor told me within six months it was so blocked. Within six months, I would have I would have been dead anyway. You know, because we wouldn't have really known anything because it was something they called a widow maker where they can do most of the tests and figure out what's going on, but they don't. For some reason, it doesn't show up. You know, it's that one where you know you're watching a movie. You guys seen these movies where the, the dad, the father of the family, is sitting at the dinner table, he's eating his dinner, and all of a sudden he just, he's dead, just out of the blue, like, what happened, you know? So it was one of those, you know, so, but like I said, I'm blessed that these things, I'm blessed in the way the Lord, the way I look at it is, you can say, that, you know, people, you know, if you don't believe in God, or you're not Christian, or you believe in the universe, or Buddha, whatever the case be, whatever, Everything worked out for my benefit is the way I'm looking at it. That does not always happen. So, you know, I will chalk that up to 
the universe looking out for me. Personally, I say I was blessed. God is good. It's my thing. Um, but, you know, you guys, something I want to leave with you guys is to say, if you got any kind of health, you know, issues that run in your family, any kind of your heart, diabetes, lungs, liver, kidneys, whatever the case may be, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it because there's no, because you don't know. Look at, look at me. I didn't, you don't know. So you can't sleep on stuff. You know, you got to at least be playing your part and get, you know, the physicals done. Your yearly physicals done. Stuff like that, you know. Get the blood work done. You know, get stuff done so, so you can live as long as, live as long as possible. Live long and prosper as, as possible, you know. Um... It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's things that have to be done. You have to get it done, you know. And so, you know, this is, so basically that's what happened, guys, you know. So, you know, those of you who have, who have been in contact with that are going through some things right now, just, you know, keep your head up. Stay positive. Believe you're going to get better. Have faith you're going to get better, you know, and things will get better, you know. And that's the truth. Things will get better, guys. Just, just believe. Just believe. And, um. You know, like I said, guys, you know, I hope these videos are cool. I hope you guys are, you know, liking them, you know. Um, I'll be shooting more. I'll be shooting more. And like I said, if you like them, share them. Like them, you know. And um, stay blessed. I love you guys. And I will see you next time. Have a great and wonderful day, a wonderful week, a blessed week, and all that good stuff. All right? All right. Be good.